Hey everybody, it's Mike here. Welcome to the channel. Well, today we are looking at the poly build tool in Blender and it's pretty neat if you ask me, right? Now, it's not very fancy. There are not a lot of uh, options and that kind of thing, but nevertheless, it can be very helpful uh, when you are modeling, right? So let's, uh, let's get into it. We're going to get rid of our standard cube, select it, hit delete. There you go. We're going to go to add, we're going to go to mesh and we're going to go to plane. Right, so poly build. So uh, basically you're building polygons, right? Now we got this plane selected, nothing going on here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the tab key to jump from object mode to edit mode. So hit the tab key, there you go. And then down here we have our poly build tool. Now when I click on that and I hover over my plane, the edges turn blue or the vertices turn blue, right? So I can click on one of these vertices and just pull that out do the same here but if i select let's say one of the edges like for example this one and notice that it will select the original position if i select that i can pull this out if i select this i can pull this up if i select this pull pull just click and drag right pretty neat now let's say you want to snap to uh, grids let's say you want to pull this but you want to snap it to the z grid or Z, yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pull and we're gonna hold down Z and it will snap, right? Let's uh, pull this one and hold on X and it will snap. Super, super simple. So this is how you can uh, quickly create a polygonal object. Now, let's say you want to add some thickness. Of course, this is a, a polygon object like any other. You can add edges, you can uh, put in bevels, you can do all of that stuff. But for now, we're gonna go back to our object mode. We've got it selected, as you can see, by our orange outline. And we're gonna go and add a modifier. And in this case, we're gonna to go to add modifier, we're gonna to go to generate, and we're gonna click on solidify. Let's give that some thickness. Let's say something like, uh, I don't know, 0 0.17. And as we do so, you see that our object now has thickness. So yeah, that's pretty much all there's to it. It's a very easy, but it's another tool in your tool belt, right? Well, as always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that sub, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.